Hello and welcome to Minor Talks About an Age of Empires, the Forgotten Empires Unit. And create that. And this one is about the Elephant Archer. Stop that. And the Elephant Archer is the unique unit to the Indians in the Castle Age. And they can be created like any other unit from the castle. So what I'm doing is I'm just sort of setting up the business here. Now elephant archers simply, simply and India got you know has loads of elephants, and they can be quite heavily armoured. So the Indians decided to make good use of this and fire arrows from the top of it. It's as simple as that. So just getting some units up and let's go build a castle. Now the elephant archer benefit from fletching and the padded archer armour, bodkin arrow, and leather archer armour. They also benefit from thumbering. They can be a lot more accurate. They can also benefit from ballistics and chemistry. I know ballistics is kind of the same as thumbring in this situation, but either way. So I can get that. And also, one other thing that they can benefit from, just create a stable here is they can benefit from bloodlines and husbandry. So let's create an elephant archer. It's a, basically a war elephant, the Persian war elephant, with one of these crates, I don't know what you call it really, in, and someone up there. So an elephant archer has 300 natural hate, uh, hit points, which is quite a lot, six attack per arrow, zero melee armor, and three pierce armor. They also have four range, naturally. So, if I just get, uh, what was it, bloodlines, 320 hit points. And then if I make him move and get husbandry as well, uh, he just moves ever so slightly faster, which is always quite useful. Uh, that doesn't do anything. So let's go to the Imperial Age. And I can get uh, one more upgrade here, Bracer. I can't get the archer, um, the, the armor, I mean. I can also, chemistry, that will help out. No, nothing more from the stables. And Parthian tactics doesn't work, because that's for cavalry archers. And the extra technology doesn't do anything, but conscription for quicker creation. I can then also upgrade to the elite elephant archer and at the moment it says turn statistics off but the upgrade costs uh, 1200 food and 800 gold so the extra statistics it gets is that it has 50 extra hit points one extra attack no extra armor or range so a fully upgraded elite elephant archer has 370 hit points, 11 attack, 2 melee armor, 5 pierce armor, and also 7 range. So, if I just show you against a champion, just a regular old champion, you can see that here they're you know, fairly fast with firing, and you can see the animation here of them doing the shooting. Now, as with war elephants, um, these can be quite slow, however, if you have a huge pack of them, like so, they can be pretty devastating. Oh, I didn't actually mean to shoot that deer. They can be pretty devastating because, theoretically, they're very similar to an arbalest or a cavalry archer in, in terms of their statistics, apart from the hit points. And this is why they're really good in a huge pack, because they can just take so much damage and still fire the arrows. That's just about it. For, or the only other thing really is that they cost 110 food, 80 gold, which, to be honest, is a lot better than the war elephants, I think. And it's not really that expensive. When you know, for, for what you get, they're not that expensive. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next part.